Less than a month after Nicola Sturgeon resigned as First Minister of Scotland, the political drama continues. Her husband, Peter Murrell, has been arrested by police in Scotland over an investigation into the SNP's finances. Mr Murrell is the former chief executive of the party and detectives are understood to be questioning him about how money set aside for the Scottish independence campaign was spent. Well, this was the scene just a few hours ago where police have set up a tent outside the couple's house to carry out searches. We can cross now to Glasgow and our reporter, Alan Jenkins, who's there. Alan, you're outside the house amongst it all, have been all afternoon. Give us a sense of what's happening there. This has been a major development in this investigation. Police arrived here at the home near Glasgow at around half past eight this morning, the home belonging to Nicola Sturgeon and Peter Murrell. Police have been here all day since, but one person who hasn't been inside is Peter Murrell because he's in police custody. There was a major police presence at the home of this political power couple, a cordon erected. Crates carried in and out of the home of Nicola Sturgeon and her husband, Peter Murrell. He arrested by police this morning in connection with an investigation into the finances and funding of the SNP. She nowhere to be seen, but the former First Minister's successor said it was a difficult day for the party. I was told uh, this morning after the event, um, and of course my reaction, as you'd imagine, uh, much like anybody involved in, in the SNP, is that this is a difficult day uh, for the party. But again, I just reiterate and emphasise it's so important for me not to comment on a live police investigation and see, be seen to prejudice that in any way, shape or form. But what I will say is that the SNP has fully cooperated with the investigation and it will continue to do so. When his predecessor resigned, she declined to say whether the investigation played a part in her decision. I'm not going to discuss uh, an ongoing police investigation. I wouldn't do that on any issue and I'm not going to do it now. She later insisted the investigation launched in 2021 wasn't a factor. It started after police received complaints about how party donations were used, with questions about how £600,000 raised for independence campaigning had been spent. Police say they were searching a number of addresses this morning, including the headquarters of the SNP in Edinburgh. 58-year-old Peter Murrell recently quit as the party's chief executive after controversy about how many people were party members. Police are now asking questions about different numbers. Alan, we heard from Hamza Youssef in your report just then, and this bombshell has come along just as he's trying to settle into his new job, hasn't it? This is another difficulty for the SNP. They had Nicola Sturgeon resign, then they had that brutal leadership contest to replace her, then Peter Murrell resigned, and now he's been arrested. This was a party known for its stability and is now going through some very difficult days. There's a lot for the new First Minister, Hamza Youssef, to try and deal with to get a grip of this crisis. Now, in terms of what happens next in this investigation, police in Scotland usually have 12 hours in order to question someone, then they make a decision about what happens next. So I suspect we'll get an update here in the next few hours. OK, Alan, thank you. And we'll get an update from you later in the programme.